Hey guys, it's your boy Rockets right here coming to you to your screen. And today is Trans Talk Thursday, yay! Wait, it's Thursday, right? Wait. Alright. Um, before we start, um, I just wanted to say that I got new glasses. Either these or, because I'm blind as hell, these. A like these ones better a little bit but i also like these like for out in public so i think i might wear these in school and at home because i mean they kind of look like grandpa glasses i guess i don't know but yeah all right so today with um trans talk we are going to be discussing wow okay sorry i was i was just crying um we are going to be discussing how to pass when you are preteen so i have a few things listed over here so if you see me looking off into distance and space that's why <laughs> because i can't keep things up here because i'm stupid and a scrub yay all right so, this is for pre-T as well as, like, if you're on testosterone, these can also help you as well. Um, so they're not just meant for pre-T, but mainly they are, I don't know, like, I'm pre-T right now. Um, so, ooh, for all our pre-Ts, we got a strong man, we got a strong. Alright, so... For passing for pretty, for let's start up here, the hair. So what I recommend is short hair. I mean, personal like I know guys have long hair and stuff, but society says that guys can't have long hair because society's an asshole. But like, if you don't have that masculine like face feature or whatever. Like, you might want to go with the shorter hair. Oh, that's cool. Not falls on glasses. Alright. But you might want to go with, like, the shorter hair. Like, this length. Maybe a little longer. Um, just because it gives you that more masculine figure. Like, in the face region. Uh, yeah. That's just a recommendation. If you do have long hair and you don't want to snip it all off... Put it to your shoulders and then put it in a band bun. Okay? And then go out in public. Alright. Another thing. Let's move down here. So, a couple of my friends are like flat, flat chested. Like, they're FTMs, but they're flat chested. Like, like flat, flat. But like, they, they got little there, you know, like right here. So,. What they do is they just wear baggy baggy sweatshirts like this or anything. But for us, like, double deers or big boobs, people out there, um, your best option is a binder. You can either buy one um, at JC2B, Amazon. I wouldn't recommend eBay because eBay, eBay is sketchy. Um... You can also buy it on, like, other trans websites. Um, yeah. I don't know what websites there are. Um, if I decide to put some in the description, then it will be down below. Or if I got lazy and started to cry, they're not down below. Nothing will be down below. Just saying. Alright. So, um... Binder, shorter hair. The binder, right. Alright, so a binder, it, for those of you who don't know, um, is... Oh shit, I can't. Because I don't have it on. Alright, so a binder is basically a... It compresses your chest, so you have that more like flat chest like men, like men do. Um, and it, I've also noticed that, like, once you wear it for a little bit, like, it makes your shoulders kind of straight and broaden a little bit. Um, 
it's just an observation I've had, which actually helps me pass a little bit more. Um, so, yeah. Um, baggy sweatshirts. I mentioned this literally like a couple of seconds ago. Um, baggy sweatshirts are amazing. They fit really well because they're baggy and they also hide everything. Right, maybe not everything, but they hide most of it. So if you got like a sports bra and you can't get a binder, wear some baggy sweatshirts. Um, also for like clothes wise up top, um, a button up, like, uh, like a plaid button up or like just a plain button up. Um, with, like, a white or black t-shirt underneath, um, Twilight Sweatshirt, Twilight, Hat. love it, um, or a different color depending on your shirt, whatever, whatever tickles your pickle, you know, um, and yeah, so that's what I recommend, also, like, short sleeve t-shirts, they kind of do the job, just get a, a like a size bigger than what you you'll you'll usually get um just so you have that baggy feeling um like the sweatshirts yeah all right so and then here's to the bottom half i recommend boxers or briefs um especially if you're an ftm now if you're an ftm pre t watching this um and you're and you still have that man cycle um, then I would recommend, this is what I personally do, um, I wear my boxers, and, because boxers are just more comfortable, I have some briefs, I don't, I don't know, what the fuck is the difference, I don't know, but, um, and I put on, like, my girly underwear, and then I put on my boxers, and then I put, like, a little pad in there, because, Sticking things up there doesn't work for me. No, no, honey. No, no. Um, I'm going to bite you. Um, so that's what I recommend for, like, that one week a month type thing. Um, boxers. I love boxers. Briefs are a little too baggy for me. Or is it the other way around? Whichever one is more baggy, um... I don't like just telling you. Um, I personally think the tighter ones fit better, like with skinny jeans and stuff. Um, skinny jeans, like blue jeans. Um, which actually brings us to our next thing, which is for the bottom half, what you'd wear, what I would recommend wearing is blue jeans, regular jeans, um, anything. Um, make sure when you try them on, I know maybe you wear them to your, to your belly button. But most guys wear them at their, at their, like, hips. So maybe trying that. Um, I have big hips, I guess. So I wear them down. I've always worn them down uh, around my uh, hips. So just wear them down there and you'll pass better. Um, also, like, jeans, um, khakis. Khakis are really nice if you... You would just want that kind of a little dressed up, but not too dressed up. Dress pants also work. Black. You definitely want to stick with dark colors for everything. Um, but if you find, like, a really nice, like, bright green shirt, I mean, go ahead and wear it. I mean, duh. But, like, for down here, like, pants-wise, like, definitely dark colors, um... Most of my pants, like, except for my blue jeans, are dark. Um, even my blue jeans are dark. Except, like, one pair. But, like, whatever. Um, but I mostly wear, um, my pants. Um, just because they're more comfortable, and I want to be comfortable most of the time. Um, but, like, when I'm not on my period, I wear jeans. Or, like, just pants, or sometimes I even wear... Wow, sweatpants, sometimes they even wear those, um, yeah, um, and then shorts, 
if you don't like the hairy legs, go ahead. Um, some men do have hairy legs. It's just a thing. And some men prefer not to have hairy legs. Um, for me, I think it gives me a more masculine feeling. Um, so I don't shave down there. Um, so when I wear shorts, I'm proud of the hair on my legs. It's no shave November all year round, really. really. Um, um, and then for shoes, either you can wear high tops with like a little... Like, if you want that taller feeling, um, and you're, like, 5'2 or whatever, just get high tops that are, like, that have an edge to it, like, that have a thing. Or you could get, or you could get these. I got, my dad, I'm assuming, got these in the men's section at Walmart. Um, these are... Barama, or uh, I don't know how to say it, but boots, um, like, and they have like this big, huge, like, wedge right here, and also like, usually shoes just like go like from really, really I hate you, to like right here, about. Um, and these just give you a, a like an extra inch, <laughs> um, or centimeter or whatever. Um, and also maybe get like the next size up. Um, if you're still in the puberty age and you're still growing, get the next size up so you don't have to keep buying them. Um, or like if there's like a half size, like a nine and a half, an eight and a half, eleven and a half, definitely get that. Like, if you're an 11, get the half. If you're an 11 and a half, get the 12. Like, if you're at the halfway mark, get the next size. Um, if you're at a size, get the half size. All right. They just, they'll fit better and you'll grow into them. And it also gives you, like, a little bit more foot. Like, it looks like you have, like, more, f a bigger foot. Um, so... Um, and for socks, just whatever feels comfortable for you guys. Um, that's all I got. Um, most guys wear makeup. I don't. I feel like makeup gives a more feminine feature, and I'm more of a masculine person. But guys do wear makeup every now and then, like guy liner or whatever. Um, but yeah. So those are my recommendations for you guys. Um, that's all I got for this week on Trans Thursday, Trans Talk Thursday. Go check out my Blub Corner video. It's about, I have the other side of this paper. It's about, um, trans-related suicide and suicide in general and whatever and whatnot. Um, so go check that out and yeah. Alright, peace, love, and happiness. Stay true, stay you. Bye.